everyone, it is September 10th, and unfortunately, I have some sad news for you. So remember that big, huge green caterpillar? It pupated on August 20th. It has now been exactly 21 days since the pupation, and the adult moth emerged, but his wings did not expand. We were away from home all day. Before we left, I left a tablet recording. I had been watching this chrysalis for three days straight after it got transparent. I left the chrysalis in a perfect position where the moth would be able to emerge, then climb straight up a stick that was in front of him. But, over time the chrysalis moved a lot, and eventually, when the moth emerged, he didn't climb straight up the stick as I wanted him to. Instead, he crawled towards the tablet. I don't know where he crawled from there. He couldn't have crawled onto the tablet just away from the camera so I couldn't see him. Or it couldn't have been hard for him to get to the top, and maybe that's why his wings didn't expand. Anyway, when I came back home, I saw the newly emerged moth hanging on the top of the net. It was sad to see that his wings had not expanded. I did get the video of the moth emerging on camera. It took about 30 minutes from first crack to emergence, which was a surprise to me because I did not expect it to take that long. Since it took a very long time from first crack to emergence, the emergence video is showing little clips of the chrysalis cracking until the moth finally crawled out. Here is the video. So that was the emergence video, and now here's our little fuzzy polyphemus moth. So you can see him vibrating, that's what they do to warm up when they're preparing to fly. But unfortunately, he's never going to be able to fly with his little shriveled up wings. So I wish I could do something for him, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to make him be able to fly again with his little shriveled up wings. So I'm just going to care for him until he dies. Because I have heard of many people out there that just euthanize 
butterflies and moths who have wings that are so deformed that they can't fly. They will put them in a refrigerator or freezer and allow their bodies to shut down from the cold temperatures. But I've always been the type of person that cares for even deformed moths or butterflies until they die. So what I'm going to do with this little guy, I'm going to take him out each day and let him get some sunshine. I'm not going to just leave him out there because doing that is like leaving a meal out there for predators because he's so defenseless and he can't fly away from predators or anything and he would easily become a meal for something. Even ants would find him as a good meal because being so defenseless ants could easily swarm him and attack him and sting him because ants also have stingers just like bees and wasps and kill him easily so I'm not going to do something like that I'm just going to let him get some sunshine and I'm going to care for him until he dies because their lives are short no functionable mouth parts nothing to eat with and with deformed wings he can't really do very much he can't fly and he can't be released or anything so like I said just going to care for him till he dies and I hope he lives a healthy and happy little life. So, bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.